Hey, YouTube, this brother Mike, man, the God on Fight for Christ. How's my beautiful brothers and sisters doing today? Today is Wednesday, the 7th, 2015. Ain't that something, y'all? I got the date right, right? So, um, I know it's very important that I leave the date because, you know, I don't want anybody in that tribulation to find this message and be like, oh, there's still saints leaving, you know, leaving, you know. So, got to make sure I put these dates on here, you know. And um, it's just very important that, you know, um, that I get these messages out, you know, while we still have time. So I uh, hope you guys are doing good. Uh, I've been praying for you guys each and every day. I pray for you guys. You know, I make my videos and then the majority of the day, you know, I'm dealing with my family and I'm praying for you guys constantly. You know, that God bless you, you know, as far as with your spiritual walk, as far as with your, you know, um, physical condition, you know, financially, whatever it is that you need help with. You know, I pray for you guys each and every day, and I pray that you guys are praying for me, <clears throat> you know. So um, I wanted to hit on a couple of topics today. Um, one of the topics is, you know, I like to think of our life, you know, on this earth. You know, I like to say that it's like a, um, I like to use different scenarios, but our life is like a roller coaster. You anybody ever been on a roller coaster? And you, you know, you're about to get on a roller coaster either at Great America or you've been at um, Wisconsin Dells or you've been at Disney World or any local carnival. You know, first, you know, you get on. The man tells you to hop in. You know, and the man straps you in. He makes sure you're secure. You know that you're in there safe. You know, so you don't fall out of the roller coaster, and then. You know, your journey begins, you know, and um, starts off slow. And then, you know, as you go through life, it it's a lot of twists and turns. And sometimes it can get bumpy, you know, and um, you got people ahead of you and in back of you. You know, they throwing up, they panicking. Some people are hollering, screaming. And then you got some people that's calm and they just holding on and they closing their eyes and they holding on. Well, I like to think that those that's holding on and just closing their eyes, and you know, I like to think that those are the saints. And other people in the world are screaming and yelling and throwing up. They just can't take it, can they? And uh, that's the way life is. And then one day, you know, the, the ride is going to come to an end, and it's coming to an end very soon for the saints. And then we're going to end up back to where we began. Everything began with God. And then, you know, the end is Jesus Christ is coming back with us. That same man that put you into the and made sure you were strapped in, he's going to tell you to come out and he's going to give you a robe of righteousness. And he's going to all them days you was on the roller coaster. God was with you, you know, and you held on tight and you believed in God and he carried you through, you know, through all those ups and downs, through the turns and twisters and turns that life brings and through the bumpy ride God was with you. And at the end, his reward, he's going to be with us forever. That's the reward, eternal life. You see, the gift of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And God is going to crack those skies one day, any day now, you know, and I can't wait till that day happen. You know, he's going to crack that sky and uh, we're going to be forever with the Lord. You know how you sit down at the table with your family and your friends and you sit down at the table and y'all talking for Thanksgiving. And a lot of people like to come together for Thanksgiving. But can you imagine the marriage supper of the lamb? How Jesus is going to be ministering us and talking to us. Can you imagine the conversation, the conversations at that table we're going to have? Oh, my goodness, man. This is just going to be wonderful, man. It's going to be wonderful. And I just want to soak it all up. I just want to listen very closely to what Jesus is going to say to us at that table, you know, because he's going to say some powerful things. Everything God say is powerful. But to be at that, to be at the table with the Lord, to know that death has been swallowed up, to know that we all together with all of our loved ones and we all together in our robes of righteousness and we looking beautiful and there's our Lord at the at the head of the table and we shall ever be with the Lord. It's going to be a wonderful day, y'all. It's going to be a wonderful day. You know, and that day is, is fastly approaching us. It's fastly approaching us. And um, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to me. I want to thank 
all you people for taking time out to click Brother Mike Man a Guy video. And um, I'm not the only one out here preaching the gospel. There's so many people that's that's out here that's that that they got powerful words, y'all. And you know, I pray for them each and every day. I pray for everybody that's talking about Jesus Christ. You know, I pray for all of them. My sister C B, you know, um, Brother David, Gospel Intel, still small voices, you know, um, Shannon Johnson, Bold Soldier of Christ. You know, just so many people. Uh, open Arm Ministry. Those those are some blessed, powerful people that's been calling me. I've been praying for all of us because we all need prayer. You know, all of us need prayer, you know. Um, you know, Leo Warrior Warrior for Christ. We all we all preaching the gospel in different ways, but God loves us all. You know, Pastor Dave, you know, all of us that love the Lord, you know, um, joy abundantly. You know, a very powerful woman of God. And, you know, we all have our differences, but I love us all. I love you all. You know, all of you guys are, are just people that love the Lord. And I just want to thank God. It's just so many different people that y'all that we can listen to. And um, I just want to give a shout out to my brothers and sisters. Um, my, bro, my boy, Ray, Ray Weathers, another wonderful man of God. You know, his his NBA story is, is just tremendous what he's doing for the Lord. God bless you, brother. And um, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, preparing for what's happening. We see in Russia um, and China, they're bringing together the whole world. They're bringing together the whole world. Everybody is going with Russia and China right now because people are tired of the United States. People are tired of the United States bullying them around, you know, and the dollar is about to collapse. And Russia knows it. China knows it. And this is all about who who's going to control the world, who's going to control the world's um, um, currency. You know, and and, and since um, the World War Two, we've been in control. We've been in control for over 70 years. We've been the, 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 the uh, strongest nation in the world. You know, we've been in control of the whole world's currency. Everybody has been controlled by the dollar. So Russia and China are building up. They're, they're building up their gold. They're getting things together and the dollar is about to collapse. So I want to prepare you guys and I want to I got to prepare myself. Um, and I, I got a powerful video at the end of this on the description that I want you guys to look at. because The Lord led me to Kim um, Hilton and um, she had a powerful message for the end times and how we should prepare. You see, one day we're going to wake up and um, you're not going to be able to use your bank cards and you're, you're going to go do something that's going to say insufficient funds. And you're going to try to pay your cell phone bill or your car note or your rent or your mortgage, you know, and, and, and it's not going to work anymore because the world and the United States has us to be cashless. The majority of us don't even keep cash on us nowadays because they're training us to be cashless. But I'm trying to tell you that Jade Helm and everything, they're preparing for this dollar to crash because they know it's going to crash. All China have to do is demand all the money we owe them, and we owe them trillions of dollars. And they're going to demand it very soon. And the moment that, that they do that, it's, the dollar's going to crash. You know, it's going to crash, and it's going to crash very soon. And um, you have to prepare. You have to store up food. A lot of you guys are preparing for vacation. A lot of you guys are preparing for, you know, big things. I want to tell you guys to prepare and put food aside for three months or so. Because the moment the dollar crashed, the moment we wake up and you're not able to go to the ATM and you say, well, man, what's wrong with my car? You're going to run to the bank and the bank is going to say, well, you know, the U.S. is not giving us any funds. You know, they told us that everything will be back up by Monday. So they told us 72 hours, everything will be back up. That window, they're going to implement martial law in that 72 hour period. OK, that's that's about how long they're going to give us before they start implementing martial law. And you're going to go down to your bank and you're going to demand your money because, hey, uh, my baby got to eat. My family has to eat. You know, my, my car note is due. My cell phone 
And your bank is only required to have so much money in the bank. So when they start emptying out enough money, the, the, the manager's going to say, well, we don't have any more money. So guess what? You're going to run to the next bank. And then guess what? If you live in a, a population like me with millions of people in the population, you, other people are thinking just like you. They're going to run to that Chase Bank or that or that um, TFC Bank or, or whatever bank you have. They're going to do the same thing. And guess what? Sooner or later, all the banks is going to run out of money. And guess what? People are going to start panicking. And then guess what? That's what uh, Jade Ham was for. Martial law is going to be in effect because they're not going to have a bunch of crazy people robbing stores because out of chaos, they're going to do order out of chaos. And they've been doing it for years. And that is why this is going to happen. You know, the Lord showed me a dream. And in a dream, I like to tell you my dreams because when I had them, I didn't know what they mean. I didn't know what it mean when I had a lot of my dreams. But now it's starting to starting to come to effect in my dream. You know, I had it months ago. And you guys can go back and check my videos. You know, um, I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm lying. Go back and check some of my videos that the Lord has showed me, you know. And I don't claim to be a prophet or anything. I've just been redeemed by the blood like a lot of other people have. But the Lord did show me a lot of things. And um, I didn't understand them then. But now I'm starting to put one and one together. And it's starting to all make sense. The Lord showed me that. Uh, in this dream, it was a lot of chaos going on. And in the middle of the streets, it was a lot of people and they was, they was all running around. And then I seen these guys and they was troops and they wasn't like regular police officers, New York, Chicago, or LA police. These guys had patches on their arm, a certain distinctive patch. And the patch was white. I know for, uh, in my dream, it was a white patch. And now I know that that patch is like a UN patch. So they wasn't regular soldiers and they was just it was a lot of the soldiers and they were just marching towards the crowds and they started in major streets first and they were just shooting and people were dropping, dropping like flies. They were just, just shooting and, and, and they steady was marching forward, just shooting at the population that was running towards them. And people turned around and they started running and, and they just kept shooting. I don't know if it was bullets that they was hitting these people with. I don't know if it was tranquil, tranquilizers. I don't know what it was, but all I know is that people was, was dropping and it was falling down. You know, and I said, come on. And a group followed me and I said, come on, we got to get off the major streets. They're locking it down. And um, as this group followed me, we ran through the grass and we, we seen one lady coming out of her apartment building. And we said, no, you can't come out. We need, we need to come in your place. She said, what's happening? I got to go to work. I said, look, you can't go to work today. They're implementing martial law. Today is not a day you're going to go to work. They're starting it. And she was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And she got nervous. I said, look. Right now, they're, they're implementing martial law. People are dying out in the streets. People are people are dropping, and, and I can hear them in the background getting closer and closer to us, okay? And um, I don't know if they were dying or not. So I, I, I told the lady, martial law is happening, and uh, I don't know, but they're, they're locking down the streets. And the lady said, oh, my goodness. And then... Um, they got closer and closer. It was like they were surrounding where we was at. And then I woke up. So this, the United States government, are, are they ready for this dollar to collapse? The blood moons sent, it, it's a signal that something is about to happen. And, and, um, the United States is going to collapse and you have to be prepared. Y'all store up food, you know, don't, it's no time to go on vacations and spending a lot of money going to the casinos and doing stuff. You have to store food for yourself and your family. And it has to be three or four months because you know what's going to happen is if you don't have money on your cards and you don't have things to do, that the, the government is going to lock down the Walmarts and they're going to make sure that people doesn't rob those places. So if you go in Walmarts and you can, well, no, you know what, guys, we're not accepting credit cards. The banks are not, you know, it's not allowing it to go through, but guess what? Cash will be used. So it's good to take some cash, put it to the side. Okay. Don't have all your money in the bank because you probably will never see that money again. So take a nice sum of money and have it on you for emergency just in case this does happen. Now, I have a video linked at the bottom of this. And Kim, Day, Kim Hilton is talking about what's going to go on. OK, <coughs> excuse me. You know, Satan always tries to choke me up when I leave these messages. I'm sorry about that. y'all. 
<clears throat> Glory be to God. So I want you guys to be prepared. And if you guys have elderly people next to you, please check up on them. Give them food. Jesus said when you gave to the least, you gave to them. Get ready, y'all. This stuff is going to happen, y'all. It's going to happen. And we hope we raptured up out of here. But if we don't and we have to see a little bit, okay, Revelation, I mean, Matthew 24, Jesus gave us the sequences of things that's going to happen. Okay. Revelation chapter three, we know that God is addressing the church, but after chapter three, the church is not here to go through God's wrath. Okay, so we know we're leaving soon. We know the things that's coming, but please prepare yourself, prepare your family. If you look on the news and they say all bank systems are shut down and, it, you know, it's been a terrorist attack, whatever the government decides to say, but the dollar would drop, y'all. And there will be people put in these FEMA camps and, and stuff. They already have it prepared. So don't be one of the ones that's trying to run down to the local bank to get your money out. Prepare now, okay? And please watch this video that's in the link below, okay? It can be the difference between life and death. And those that don't have money in the bank, like me, I don't have any money in the bank. I don't have anything. But guess what? God will provide. And guess what? I'm preparing my family. The little money that I have, you know, from, from my job, I'm preparing myself and I'm preparing my family, you know? And um, you prepare yourself. God will provide. You see, God told Noah to build a boat and God and, and, and he told Noah to prepare for the flood. So, you know, God is warning us to prepare saints. We, we can't be out here blinded by the world. We have to have food stored up. Go to the dollar store. Go get food. Go get water. So if this does happen, you got enough for you and your family. You don't have to risk your life and, and risk fighting somebody, you know, because it's going to be chaos in these stores. You know, you don't want to be one of the ones trying to go get some food for your family and people knocking people upside their head, trying to get a, you know, it's only three cases of water and it's, you know, 10,000 people fighting for the three cases of water. You don't want to be one of those people. Prepare yourself, okay? You know, God gave us a brain. God gave us YouTube. People like Kim Hilton leaving messages and God has put it on my heart to warn you guys. So store up water. Uh, more is never enough, y'all. So, you know, don't worry about if you're doing this and people calling you a hoarder. It's better to be prepared than to be sorry, y'all. You know, so this is Brother Mike, man of God. I love you guys so much. Um, I still have Bibles for those that need a Bible. If you need Bibles, please reach out to me. Um, all of this stuff comes from the donation that you guys have done. And um, I really appreciate God for everything you guys have been doing. All of these videos, all the comments we all have in church on here. A lot of people are not in church. So, you know, when you come to my channel, we can have church comment. I'll comment you back. You know, call me. I, I will receive your call and I'll talk to you about the Lord, you know. And um, God bless you. If you have any questions, please call me. My number is 773-680-5991. Prepare yourself, okay? We don't know when Jesus Christ is coming back. I pray that he comes back before the dollar collapse. I pray that we're not here for this, but we never know when the Lord, he said it's going to be like a thief in the night. So we have to prepare ourselves, you know, for this civil unrest. You know, the government is preparing. They know. That's why J. Hill was having these military. They are ready. These FEMA camps are smoking. They're ready. They're up and up. They're up and ready. So we have to prepare ourselves, y'all. Prepare yourself. You know, you know how people say, think for the think for the best, but prepare yourself for the worst. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, and uh, if you don't have, God will provide. You know, a lot of people watching this video, hey, look, I don't have a bank account. I don't even have a place to stay. So what am I going to do? God will provide. God will provide. You know, trust in the Lord. God will provide. Somebody's going to come your way and say, look, come on over here. You know, God going to take care of the saints. I don't know how many people have, have just blessed me when I didn't have no food. Somebody, people, you guys, uh, donations and stuff has blessed me and my family when I didn't have anything. So I know God will provide. I can tell you story after story after story how God provided for me. So, you know, and God provides for you guys. You know, I know you guys got stories of when you didn't have nothing. You know, maybe you didn't have gas in the tank and somebody came passing or you found some money and put gas in the car. It was that you were able to get to work. 
Amen. We all have stories, man. And, and let me tell you something. It's angels out here. Be, be prepared and, and, and treat everybody with love. You know, this one lady, you know, uh, it's on YouTube. And this one lady, she, she caught a flat tire. She was 75 years old. She caught a flat tire. Nobody was in the road. Nobody was there to help her. It was raining. 